now we are here. And once we were here, so what happened in between? Today we're gonna present thousand years of Norwegian history through houses, homes, buildings and architecture. We'll take you through a hilarious journey from the Viking era through our darkest moment in time and back again to when we rise as a nation. Buildings are visual and perfect for Instagram so of course we have to mess and joke with social media too. Come on, join the ride! Uh, this is a stave church. This was built by the Vikings. And this also marks the end of the Viking period. Because with Christianity, uh, everything changed. And this stave church, I mean, have you seen the different... Up there you can see the dragon, those resemblance from the Viking area. You have the crosses up there. And you have the beautiful ornaments that are typical, typical Viking. And everything is built in wood. And you know what, guys? This is Norway. This is Norwegian houses, our homes, actually. This has something to do also about how we live today and how we have lived for a thousand years. This is a treasure. I can feel the historic uh, vibration in these walls. And uh, just now I feel a Viking. Uh, uh, it's really strange. You can smell it here, the tar smell. It's kind of nice. And you can walk, look at these. And I mean wood, it stands for over a thousand years. That's so cool. <coughs> and here you have other uh, ornaments, this beautiful Viking craft, craft and carving in a way. Here we still have our confidence. I mean, you can see it in the building. We are still a rich Viking cultural nation. And here you can really feel the vibrations of time, of history and of Norway. This is it. This is the creme de la creme when it comes to Norwegian architecture. And here you can see, yes, it is a church. This area here, you, you, you know from other churches. But I think this was a hybrid between old faith, the Norse faith, and the new Christianity. And where did it take Norway? That's what we're going to find out. Uh, with these great backdrops, what do you do? Well, you know, I am a social media expert, so the best thing to do here is to update your social media profile. What kind of pose should I do here? Oh, I know, mindfulness. That's hot, that's trendy. Mindfulness. What you can see now behind me here is uh, the Akershus Festning or the fortress. They started to build this in uh, 1200, I think, just after the Viking area, the Viking period. We were now starting to get into union with Denmark and Sweden. This fortress or castle behind me the kings of uh, Sweden or Denmark, when they were visiting, they stayed there and uh, they ruled Norway from that castle. It's also a symbol of when we lost our nation uh, after the Vikings, when the Vikings has lost their mojo, I think you said, and the Danes and the people from Europe had taken over. But it's a lovely uh, place to uh, be and it's a lovely place to take pictures 
and I think I need to take maybe. Uh, did you see the moon and so on? I kind of a Game of Thrones. I need some fashion, a fashion instrument. Would that be nice? If you want to take a picture that really goes viral, listen to me. Then you have to do something with fashion, of course. <laughs> but most of these stupid other fashion bloggers, they take, you know, ordinary fashion. <laughs> you have to be unique. You have to think out of the box, out of your clothes. And that's why I choose to put on clothes very wrong. That's hot. Then I have to find the pose. The right pose. We are entering kind of a tragic period for the Norwegian. We're finished with the Viking area. You saw the castle, the Game of Thrones castle. And now we are here. Actually, we are in front of the old town hall, the old city hall in a town called, not Oslo, even though it's Oslo, but it was called Kristiania. Why? Because that stupid king over there just came look at his hand pointing here the city is gonna be and what is the city is gonna call not Smøradalen eller Hakkidalen eller other Norwegian names oh no it was he was King Christian of Denmark and what do we call the Oslo Kristiania after his name, you know, Washington, it could be Trumpington. And this uh, building from here behind me, it's a piece from that period. And that was a terrible time. We were chained, Christiania, from that mm, stupid Danish king. And the Norwegians, we were like this. We couldn't move, we couldn't talk. We had to change our culture, language, our clothes. We had to fit in into his Danish fantasy. Tui, tui. Okay. See them? And you see... Over there is that Christiania sign. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of beautiful. I don't like that. <laughs> but yes, it's beautiful. And, and the color is kind of cool, I have to admit it. <laughs> is it Insta friendly? Hmm, yes. Hmm, interesting surroundings. What kind of it's kind of an intellectual. Oh, I know. I can I can be like a smart student uh, studying abroad on an elite school and taking you know those intellectual pictures with some dirt on doesn't matter it only looks like I've been working very hard so in this picture I'm learning Portuguese in one hour I'm uh, looking at uh, open spaces and narrow spaces and play more work less. Oh, that's a good saying, isn't it? That's the kind of Instagram saying. If people gonna ask, where are you, where are yeah, you? Yeah, and maybe they will send, can you give me the answer for these philosophical questions? Let me see. And now, what do you think, Mats? Isn't this very intellectual, philosophical? You know, going on Instagram, you don't care about that surrounding history. You just want to have that pose. Everything I write is genius. Mm. 
when all are showing off their bodies, their food, their homes, their pets, their children, I'm showing up my intelligence. to the people. Even though the Danes control us, the Danish king is the ruler, the monarch, the people of Norway never ever forgot who they were. Behind me now you see this is the real houses of Norway. Yes we are in Oslo but the houses behind me they has everything to do with Oslo, small places, big places, north, south, west, you name it. Small wooden buildings where we live. We lived it there for 500 years ago and we still live it here now. This is our spirit. This is Norway. The people, power to the people, to the king, to the Swedes, to the Danes. These people, the spirit that you find inside these houses when the king was from Denmark and everything was ruled from there, they never gave up. They said, we're not going to live like you guys in Denmark. We will forever live like true Norwegians. So all of the houses you see down here, they used to live only poor people and now we have to be quite rich to be able to live here. But still, this is the people of Norway's houses. Hmm, I wonder what, what kind of uh, social, social media picture do I need here? I mean, it's, it's poor people's neighborhood, it's the real people, it's the people against the power. Okay, of course, party party that's what i'm going to do i'm gonna celebrate the people of norway from thousand years ago until now and to have a party we have to make it kind of a sudden party for the guy you guys that know us from that video i think this is a good color for social media that will spread around maybe this one here too well okay why not all of them and my god i mean this is gonna spread all over the internet and uh, yeah of course i think this is the one that's gonna spread most okay then to get the spirit this. do you think this will work is this a winner do you think this is the right pose Go! Power to the people! Now you might be wondering what kind of building is this? You don't see anyone? I promise you, this building is the most popular building in Norway. And of course, it has a special place in Norwegian's heart. Uh, not mine, not that much. Uh, this uh, uh, building, you know, foreigners, when they see it the first time, they think, oh, what a beautiful school or maybe a mansion for a rich people. <laughs> but it's not, because uh, now we're going to uh, the Norwegian castle. Okay, how about your country? I mean, we have king and queen in Norway. What do you have, guys? Uh, uh, do you have a president? What do you have? Do you have kings and queens anymore outside the Nordic and UK? I'm not sure. I would love to know actually. I have to learn about that. So subscribe, post us your story about president, queen or king or maybe you have another. Oh, maybe you have a dictatorship. Well, I have to learn about that too. But you know why I don't like it? 
because I'm not sure if it's anything Norwegian about it. Well, the size, as I told you, yes, it's very small and that's typical of Norway. But the style, very European, continental. You know, this guy over there, he was kind of king when we built this and he was from Sweden, Karl Johan. And so, yes, it is our Norwegian castle and king and queen and all of that. But it lacks wood, it lacks anything Viking, and it doesn't say anything about Norway as a nation. It says that Danish style or Swedish style is cool, actually. <laughs> Very stupid. It says here, oh, it was the Norwegian people that built this, uh, this memory of this Swedish uh, king. I'm not sure if it's uh, him. I don't think so. I think it's... I, I don't think it was the Norwegians. But hey, it's a super place for an Insta. But I want to make this a, a, a different Insta, actually. Because I feel like I want to be a Viking here in front of this Swedish castle. And maybe a Viking pose? Or some Viking yoga. Viking yoga? Hmm. Viking yoga. Just showing off who the rulers are. Uh. It will scare everyone. Look, look! The guard is scared too. He walks away. Finally, Norway got rid of the Danes and the Swedes. Behind me here you have Oslo Rådhus, the city hall of Oslo. This style here is inspired from Germany. It's called function, uh, in Norway we say funkis, functionality, decorated functionality. It's decorated because it's the city hall. But this is more Norway, as we know, frugal, Lutheran. We don't have those blown up heads, those, uh, you know, that fancy cookie style. This is really clean cut. And this marks uh, our separation from the other Nordic countries, especially Denmark and Sweden. This is Norway. We are starting to find our souls. We are starting to find out who we are again and what do Norway do <coughs> when we have liberated ourselves from the Swedes and the Danish? We go directly back to the Viking period, to the Stave Church, and you can see here that dragon resemblance that we saw on the Stave Church, that we have on the Viking ships, and that we also have now on the city hall in Oslo. Norway, the new nation from 1905. This is all Norse mythology. Back to Thor and Odin and Freya and everything. And here you see Odin, the god on his horse, Sleipner. And how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six legs. That's Sleipner. This is Embla, like Eve in the Bible. Embla and Usk are our Adam and Eve. Embla and Usk, not Adam and Eve. You remember this, the Stave Church? Well, here it's again. Look at those carvings. Midgosh Ormen. And fighting against it. Sigur Sveen und Ormen. This is really, really Viking. Almost Viking cliches, I have to say. So now we are going to the front of uh, the city hall. And I promise you, because no statues of kings, no statues of queens, no Swedes, absolutely not. Not even military. This is workers. Because of course, this building is social democracy. In the 1920s, when the worker party ruled, we became one nation again. It was the workers that were the stars. And nothing more. He's working with stone. You can see it, so he's taking out this stone that you see here. He's a hero. Of course, our kind of hero. This one, he works his way through the wood, maybe building a house. It's, this is all about the people, the working people. 
not the kings and queens anymore, nothing. It's the work. We are gonna build this nation together. In these authentic and natural Norwegian surroundings, I get so inspired for a no filter hashtag pick. That is the new thing I've heard. So in the spirit of the workers, they did not have any makeup. So I don't need it either. No filter, yes. Must look. Can you not film over there? No, no, no. Oh, 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 look at the houses there. See? No, 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 no. No, Mats, 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 go away. No, it's natural. Mats, stop. Look at the gold over there. Look, 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 look. Gold. Mats, Mats, Mats. Oh, the building. Not Stupid Mats. Luckily, he promised not to use okay. those embarrassing scenes. Mm. How do I look? Is my face okay? My complexion? What about my expression? My lips? My nose? Hmm, maybe some filter won't hurt. I am sure nobody would uh, notice. Okay, now we are starting to see the new Norway. Norway with oil money. Uh, in the 70s, in the early, we, we knew that we had oil. We knew that we were going to go from one of the poorest countries in Europe, actually, to one of the richest. And this building here behind me, it's a symbol on that. Brutalism, oil money, mammon. Yes, 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 yes. So, so we need some power maybe, we need some exercise pictures or I'm not sure what this, this is much, yeah. And look at me, am I not strong, am I not fit, am I not just that best uh, person, that almost Greek statue thing, look, look. Oh, awesome, I am awesome. Are we finished? <laughs> Shut up. But you know, guys, I just want to tell you, really, and this is kind of a cliche, but to all you subscribers, to all of you who are watching, to all of you sharing, you're beautiful, funny, wow, oh my god, all your stories. I love you guys, and I think Mats, do you love them too? I do, you can make your heart. Yeah, because thank you to all of you. That's why we are making this video and I'm telling you, it's a hard production. We are arguing, we have been now for 20 places and if it hasn't been for you guys, we would never have managed. It's ruining our relationship. Yeah, or what kind of relationship do we have? I know many of you are asking. <laughs> And here we have entered the 2000. It's been a thousand years since the Viking era. We are 2001, two, and you have the opera building behind me. This is our period when things start to go right again. We are rich. We have, in this period, we have become one of the richest countries on earth. We are also being uh, crowned the most happiest people on earth, not sure why. And uh, it's the best place for people to live in, grow up. So this is the modern Norway. Now there is nobody else, only Norwegian. We rule, we are full of ourselves kind of, we are full of self-confidence 
and this the opera behind me then you can see the nature the eyes we are taking back we are being experimental we are expressing ourselves not other european countries not other countries at all this is us ice cold cool and very modern this is one of the most insta friendly places in the world. <laughs> it is it is absolutely so you have to be kind of uh, you have to be uh, creative here maybe the art makes me relax so I feel in touch with the ground Oprah music makes me feel free Okay, but this is one of the greatest opera singers in Norway, Kirsten Flagsta. So I, I think I have to make a, a, a warm, nice, cozy, I love you, Kirsten Opera moment. Since we are at the opera, a lot of Greek tragedy inside. So here I am Narcissus. You know the god? He was in love with himself. It's 2010. You know, in the age of happiness, richness, uh, Norway is best in Olympic. We win gold in all the Winter Olympics. We are so high on ourselves now. And behind me, this is our take on Dubai, on Manhattan, on Singapore, on whatever, the London Financial District. This is barcodes. And this is how we do our skyline. This has become the Norwegian skyline, the Oslo skyline. And of course, if you turn around Mats, behind me here is that one and only restaurant in Norway with three uh, Michelin guide stars. Can you believe it? Three stars? Norway? Matpakke? Yes, we have it. Hey, but of course, the chef is Danish, not Norwegian. Okay, very modern buildings, modern architecture. Ooh, I feel modern, modern, modern. Mm. Ah, <laughs> why didn't I think about it before? Of course, modern dance. As a pro on uh, Insta and social media, I have my props with me. Do you think this will work, Mats? I'm sure this will put social media on fire! Whoa. I'm sure modern dance looks like this. This is gonna light my social media account on fire. We're talking about cool expressions. Now we have opened our own Your Way to Norway merch shop and just follow the link above or in the description. Thanks guys for supporting us. We are closing up to Le Creme de la Creme. It's Norway, it's Norway in the future. It's a fusion and it has something to do with the Vikings. You know, the Vikings went down to the Mediterranean. They even went to the Middle East. They got impulses, inspiration, motivation, and they took it with them. They have stayed on the sea now for more than a thousand years. But uh, I think they are finally heading home behind me. 
here you see a fusion between a Spanish architect, a Greek letter, and one of the biggest national icons of Norway, the very famous artist Edvard Munch. And you go, Munch, Munch, who? Who Munch? Munchy? No. Uh, watch your smile list on your phone or check out anything and you will find this face, this posture and this Because this is uh, the new home for the Scream and this is Mother Norway. This is where we go. We are the best, we are the greatest, we are the happiest, we are the richest and we are so full of ourselves. Somebody please come with a bucket of cold water. <laughs> This is where you go totally in Norway. You lose all jantelov. You, you, it's like you're not Norwegian, but you are very Norwegian. You're not Viking, but you are extremely Viking and all of that. And Norwegian, we are supposed to be introvert and we are supposed not to brag about ourselves and you know all that, but bang! This is another world, another story. We have to celebrate Norway with the best from Norway. And you could go like, hooray! like we do hooray but it's not enough you have to do more you have to oh you have to jump of joy hooray you see behind me it's kind of a cathedral it's kind of a stave church just now we are not Christians Lutherans anymore we have become secular we are loaded with oil money and our new cathedral is of course a museum for modern art called Ostre Fanlie Museum the new stave church the stave church for the 2000 it has something to do with boat, sailboat. And this could be the sails, the roof could be the sails. You get some peace of mind here. It's roof. Of course. And just look at the color. It even smells a little bit like the stave church, the tar impregnated. You hear the birds. You see the calm water. This is a kind of a, a modern cathedral. Okay, Mats, we're going to have a beautiful, you know, those picnic Instagram moments, aren't we, Mats? Come on, on this side. We have to use this place for a picnic, Insta picnic. Mats, you know, social media. We need a very expensive wine. You can see extra expensive wine. Yeah. So glasses, of course. There. That's typical on that, those pictures. Tasteless cheese, of course. Mmm. With a lovely mat pocket. Obviously, with in between lace paper. Of course, we need some napkins here. There and there. What an effort you yeah. Are you going to have a picnic all by uh, yourself? Uh, hmm, good question. Let me see. <laughs> Mats, can you be my girlfriend just for this uh, Instagram? Uh, come on, come on, come on. And now, <laughs> for all of you who have waited so long, this is my girlfriend. Can you see her? Madeleine! Come closer, Madeleine! Yeah, this is her! I haven't prepared uh, myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a bit uh, high maintenance. Uh, yes, but she is lovely. And uh, uh, Madeleine? 
is this a perfect like Insta moment, like mm -mm. having a picnic and everything? It isn't is, it? yes. And to make the best insta ever beat all of those oh, okay. jerks out there oh, what, what? motherland can you please shut up a little bit dear motherland you are my sunshine you are my moonshine and you are my shine sometimes but um, dear madeline please it's motherland yeah you have, you have to say this. Yeah, <laughs> Mother, Madeleine. Yeah. Dear Madeleine. You forgot the name! Dear, I meant it. Dear Madeleine, will you marry me, Madeleine? She made my day! She means this? Oh, I, I, I don't want to hug you, but I love you, or I hate you. Oh. Oh. Okay, we have to cheer. <laughs> Where's the wine bottle? Oh no, it's a stand-in for the wine bottle. Oh, okay, it it okay. was lost in the wind. Oh, Madeline, please. Oh, oh Insta. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Insta. Insta. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to crash, yeah. Insta. Oh, cheers. Oh, I'm so happy I cried. Uh, if you have any favorite buildings, if you have anything you like, the style of your city and so on, you know what to do. We love to read. We love to sh that you share our stories. Subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down. For next video, see you. Now me and Madeleine is going to have... Sit down, Madeleine. Uh, we're going to have a... Yeah. <laughs> This is the best day of my life, except from maybe when I was five and my dad gave me a bottle of water. It was tough water, but anyway, oh thank you Ronald, thank you. Thumbs up for this one.